Greetings, friends. I am Dry Fisano, and I welcome you to April, or my Autism Awareness Month, Vlog Every Day in April session. So, uh, this is essentially going to be my day one, I think, right where my light is. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is vlogging every day in April, and then uh, sharing with you a little bit about myself and a couple of my previous um, misadventures that I've had in the past. Now, with Vlog Every Day in April, I tried this last year. I think I only got to about day five or day six. So some of this you may have seen already, but I, I want to do this and make sure I get at least all 30 days and try to share a couple of my other opinions too. But um, with this, this first day one here, I wanted to just briefly touch on a couple of things here with my YouTube channel here. And then I want to do something a little bit fun here. As you can see right down there, I got some bean boozled jelly beans. So I'm going to try those out here and try a little bit of a taste experiment. And if you want to skip right to that, I think I'm going to have a link right up here where you can jump to the uh, jump to the jelly beans at that point. So uh, click on that if you want to skip right to that. Otherwise, here we go. Okay, so first of all, this is my YouTube channel, Dry Fasano. My channel is essentially going to be Machinima, Let's Plays on occasion. I, I just want to do the uh, Magic the Gathering uh, Planeswalker series and other fun things like that. Uh, my mainstay is going to be my little improv uh, show called Mr. Smite's Improv, which I'll get to here in a couple of minutes. And then also, I wanted to pretty much mention what my channel is going to be and what my channel is not going to be. First of all, what my channel is going to be. This is going to be sort of a comedy-related um, series, and I'm going to try to be as humorous as I possibly can, and uh, just be entertaining. Now, on the same line, what my channel's not going to be, I don't swear. I'm not going to be dropping the F word, I'm not going to be dropping any swears, or I'm going to do my best to also make sure that I don't drop toilet humor also. So. If that's something that you are used to, this is not going to be the channel for you. I pride myself on on high caliber humor, but also silliness. But yet at the same time, there's only so far that I'm going to go with that. So this will not be the channel for you if, if you're going to expect me to swear at all, because I don't do that. Now with that out of the way here, this channel is sort of going to be under a PG rating too. You may find um, some Let's Plays I did with some friends back in the day, a couple, maybe a couple months ago, and um, some other people that I may have um, done some stuff with too may swear, so um, I'm going to run into that sort of thing here now and again, so if that happens, that's them, but this is me. So I'm going to do my best to make sure that my channel here is going to be my personal best, but also at the same time, I'm not going to be swearing, and no toilet humor, and nothing essentially over a PG rating. So, not really going to be insulting too, but um, that leads me into Mr. Smite's Improv. So, Mr. Smite's Improv is actually an improv show that I do in the game World of Warcraft. I'll put a list yeah, somewhere up here, yeah. Uh, Mr. Smite's Improv is an improv show that I do in World of Warcraft on the realm of Wormrester Core. And there have been, been a couple of times I've had in Wormrester Core, in the, in the city of Stormwind, there's a gazebo behind the cathedral. And I'll be posting a picture up here. At that cathedral, or at the gazebo, I mean, at the Stormwind gazebo, what I do is I perform some improv. And I'll be getting more into that when I uh, do more of my beta things here. So I, it's like an hour-long show. All the details are up here. So um, if you are on the Wormrest Accord server and uh, find me there, come and come and enjoy a couple of jokes with me. I do this every uh, every Friday and Saturday at about uh, se seven. Go for about an hour every Friday and Saturday. So if you enjoy it. Please bring a friend, and, and uh, this is going to be sort of a cross advertising thing too. Where I try, I like to suddenly break the fourth wall on occasion. So 
this Mr. Smite's improv is uh, something I'm going to be doing both animated and then also this live show. And um, also, too, with these, these live shows, I recorded a couple of them. A couple of them, I'll put, put a couple of links in my description and then somewhere on the screen if, if I need to. And you can, you can see a couple of them. What my plans are for right now, I'd like to release one Mr. Smythe's animated version of my show once a month, and then and then do a live show once a month as well, or at least upload it to my YouTube channel, I mean. Then also with that, I'm still trying to figure out content to actually put on my channel on a, on a monthly, daily, and weekly basis, so I, I'm still open to ideas. Um, also, I figure... I, I have here this vlog spot of mine, and, and you can see a lot of my craziness that you see around me. So I'm going to try to vlog once a month and see if I can't uh, uh, help you guys out too. And uh, maybe, even, even if it's just personally for me, maybe it's to help you um, learn about a little bit about me too, and um, I deal with anxiety a little bit. And, Essentially, I just want to become a, an advocate for anyone else on the autism spectrum. No, no matter where it is you are from 10 to 30. For me personally, I never had a lot of resources learning about the spectrum until I graduated from college. So I, I want to show a lot of people out there that autism is not something to be scared of. It can be, it can be intimidating, but doing it the right way, maybe I can help show a lot of other people that autism can be a superpower. It, I may not be a Marvel character and I may not be a Reed Richards or anything, but I can be me. I can be Dreyfusano. And I have so many brilliant ideas up here that I'm brilliantly forgetful, and, uh, but I'm babbling. But, um, so... I want to be a common autism advocate, and you can see this shirt that I'm wearing. It's sort of going to be my iconic uh, autism shirt. It doesn't have any yellow in it, but it, it's got blue and red, so that works. And then also, along with that, I'm going to put another link up here. I'm going to have like a lot of links, a lot of links. My brother Cameron Dayton wrote a book called Ether Walker, or Book One of the Silicon Covenant. Now, he, he and I had talked about this here on, on and off again, and the main character of the story, Enoch, is actually on the autism spectrum as well. And, and I, I'm going to be working with him a little bit and see if we can to do something a little bit fun with Ether Walker. Um, I am planning on releasing a an audio sampling book of his first chapter of the book and see if I can to plug him a little bit too. So I, I haven't finished the book yet, but... Um, I look forward to reading it and see if uh, if it's worth recommending to you out there in the digital world. Now, other than that, something else that I wanted to bring to your attention too is that I'm a machinimator, and I I've, I've been looking over YouTube and I see a couple of uh, tutorials for Wow Model Viewer, but. Um, I feel like those tutorials only go as far as WoW Model Viewer. So something I'm planning on doing here in, in the near future, we'll be making some tutorials, which I'll call Tutorializer. And after I release those tutorials, what I'm going to do here is take this one step further too, and then after the tutorials, do some challenges and see if I can't teach a lot of you out there how to, how to make a cinema as well. And totally different story, so we'll we'll get to that in, in the near future here too. And I'm I'm actually wanting to look look to collaborate with a lot of other people, a lot of other YouTubers. And um, I I play World of Warcraft myself. I mainly play Alliance, and I dabble in the Horde a little bit. And um, I do some music, some rapping. I'm learning how to how to. And. Um, some machinima and a little bit of everything in between. So, um, if anybody is out there, I am open to doing that. Um, and pretty much, I think the last thing that I mentioned here before we get to the jelly beans is um, so vlog every day in April, 
and I, I'm going to be going over a little bit of my personal background, see if I can't add some stuff to my other my other uh, section that I had done here back in 2015. But also at the end of the month, um, in World of Warcraft on the on the Warmaster Accord server, I'll post post a picture of this up here again. It, I'm going to do another um, autism ribbon event. This is something that I had done previously where I'd gather members of the Alliance and the Horde together, dress them up in red, blue, and yellow uh, uh, dresses and robes and everything, and, and made them all lay down in the shape of an autism ribbon. And it just, it's something fun that I, I thought is, and would be neat to do. And, and it's something I, I want to do long term too, and, and do this every year. And I, I want to do some fun events too, and I'd like to raise some money for autism awareness, and I'm still figuring that out. So uh, look forward to all of that. But pretty much here, this is Vlog Every Day in April, so this, this is essentially going to be my day one. So until next time, my friends, stay tuned for day two of my Vlog Every Day in April, and I am Dry Fusano. Until next time, be you, be yourself. And with that, let's get, let's get down to these jelly beans over here. So, I think the mark of any good YouTuber is doing the obligatory challenge vlog here, so I've got some bean boozled jelly beans. Picked these up on Amazon, and um, I've always wanted to do something like this, and I, I actually tested this out a little bit um, previously, and, and uh, they, were, they weren't really as bad as you may think they may be. Um, interesting note here too, I actually have a bad sense of taste. And, um, I'm going to go through each of these here and I I honestly do expect to be bean boozled. I'll randomize it here at first and but then slowly go through um, each one so that I can give, give you a good idea of how each of these do taste. Alright, so let's see. Got this little randomizer here, and our first one, let's go with Juicy Pear or Booger, eww, okay, Juicy Pear, alright, got a little green one here with some green specks. Hmm. It's, it's probably pear. It doesn't taste disgusting. Alright. Next up. Lime. Okay. This one. Lime. Or lawn clippings. It's going to be sort of a light green one. Yep, that one's fine. Hmm, these are really chewy. Hmm, they're chewy. Blubber nuggets. All right, next. Okay, so we got um, buttered popcorn, or rotten egg, and that is the yellow one. Yes, I know it's hard to see with my shades, but that's sort of a gimmick in my channel too. Okay, so we got a, a really yellow one. Oh. Okay. I think I've got the first bean boozled one here. I think this one is the rotten egg. How can I best describe this? Hmm. Doesn't necessarily taste like a rotten egg. It's strangely juicy. Hmm. Okay, I know for a fact that was not buttered popcorn, but uh, let's keep going here. Caramel corn. Let's see, caramel corn or moldy cheese. Caramel corn, in case it's going to be the spotted ones, which I believe is this one. I'm probably not. Okay. I'll just go with it. Oh. 
What is that? It's good. I think I got caramel with that one. Alright, well I think what I'm gonna do, let's just uh, go through each of these one at a time here. So, after Juicy Pear and Booger, let's try Coconut or Baby Wipes. Now I've actually had these uh, uh, Baby Wipe ones before, and if, you, if you've if you ever used a Baby Wipe, sort of imagine that as a taste. And it's honestly not that bad, but um, it didn't really taste that bad to me. I'll, let's see. I think I might have gotten baby wipe. Just something a little sharp. Mm. It might have been coconut, I can't tell. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually uh, come back to that one. Licorice or skunk spray? This one's pretty interesting. Um, I've actually had the skunk spray one too. It didn't really taste that bad to me, but. Again, that's probably my bad sense of taste. And, I mean, bad sense, of taste, bad sense of taste on my tongue, not my clothes, obviously. Mm, okay. So, licorice skunk spray. I think I got skunk spray. Mm, yeah. Copious amounts of chewing. Hmm. Little sour, slightly bitter. Mm. You're gonna have to do better than that, Bean Boozled, because I'm not puking. All right, up next, tutti frutti or stinky socks? Hmm. Okay, here we go. Looks like a good one. Let's see. Am I gonna get tutti frutti or stinky socks? Seeing as how the last one was. Skunk spray. I'm gonna say tutti frutti. Wrong. Hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna need to cleanse my palate because I could hardly t taste what that one was. Okay, let's try tutti frutti again. Right, cleanse my palate. Go. Yeah, this one's tutti frutti. Sort of has a bubblegummy uh, taste to it. Okay, so I did lime and lime clippings. Berry blue or toothpaste? Now, um, I've had this one before. Even if I get bean boozled with this one, it's honestly not that bad. It's sort of minty, so. Technically, the worst one has been the licorice one so far, or the skunk spray. Very blue or toothpaste, pretty easy to pick out. And away we go. I am taking the blue pill. Blah. Hot cleanse. Honestly, can't tell with that one. I want to say that's toothpaste. I'm gonna try another. No. Mm, breath definitely feel, smells better. Good buttered popcorn, chocolate pudding, or canned dog food. Brown ones. Alright, so here's the brown one. Blah, blah. Okay, I think I got chocolate with that one. Hmm. Yeah, tastes like what you would have thought. That's chocolate. Alright, up next, looks like we've got. 
peach or barf? So we got peach or barf here. No, no, no. Hmm. Alright, hold on. I want to say that one was barf. Let me try another one. Oh. Okay, that one was peach. I think the other one before is barf. Hmm. some other challenges too online and uh, see if I can figure out something fun to do. I'm probably not going to be doing anything that will hurt me or anything, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep my eyes open now. To differentiate, my, differentiate myself a little bit here, I'm going to try another little experiment here with these bean boozled jelly beans. I'm going to take a brief break here. I'm going to combine each of these here together and then just try all of them at once. See what sort of taste experiment I can get. So, I will be right back. Okay. So, time for taste experiment number two. I have here in front of me three samplings. So, in this one, I've got one of each of these bean foods with jelly beans. And I believe there's ten in total. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there, I've got one here, I've got one here in this uh, the lid, and I've got another one over here. So uh, I'm just gonna pop all of these in my mouth and let's see, let's see what sort of tastes we can get out of this. Hmm. Chewing sounds. I want to say it tastes like a really old book, like you get out of the library, if that had a taste. Mm. Yep, still really chewy. Maybe a hint of skunk spray. Think. That really was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <sighs> hmm. I don't even think I could describe that taste. I mean, it felt juicy and everything, like jelly beans are supposed to, so I probably think I got more good ones than bad ones that time. Okay. Taste experiment number two. For science. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh. Mm. Diagnosis. Hardly delicious. Hmm. If there were any bad ones in that one, I could hardly taste them. Maybe again I'm tasting skunk spray. But if I'm tasting bad ones, I think they're just being neutralized by the good ones. I don't even think I tasted. Hmm. My monitor around a little bit. All right. Time to finish off this taste experience with taste number three. Oh. Mm. 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 Okay, I think I got more lawn clippings that time. But that's honestly the only taste I tasted. Hmm. Bean Boozle. A whole new spin on playing with your food. A few tips to get you started. 
do have a trash can handy at all times. Yeah, didn't really need one. Trust us, you'll need it. Eh, didn't need it. Do not let wimps or crybabies play this game. Okay, maybe let them play after all. It can be fun to watch. <sighs> Do fake out your friends while playing if you can. Got skunk spray? Try to keep a good poker face and swear it is licorice. Tip. Try smelling someone's breath if you suspect faking. Yeah, for science. Do make up your own rules. This is being boozled where anything goes. Your imagination is your only limit. Playing with your food was never this much fun. Caution. These jelly beans may look alike, but they could not taste more different from each other. Think you can tell them apart? We dare you. There's a little guide right, right in there. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm... If I was to be being boozled, I don't feel being boozled. I mean, I may try these, some of these off on my off time, but... I think these are going to stay securely in my stomach. But this will, this will officially do it for day one of my vlog every day in April, and stay tuned for day two. With that, I am Dry Pisano. Till next time, be you, be yourself.